we're going to work with this data and find all the things. So we're going to do a scatter plot, a linear regression, and find that correlation coefficient r and r squared. We're going to start by entering our data. So from the home screen, you want to navigate to the lists and spreadsheet icon. We're going to click on that and we need to give both of our lists a name. Now in my data here, I've got my explanatory variable, which is the bribe. So these are bribes that students give me hopefully in cash for their grade. And the response variable is the grade. So we are going to arrow up to the top of that list A and call it bribe, B-R-I-B-E, enter. And then let's go ahead and arrow over to the top of the list B name and call it grade. I am going to arrow down. So I'm in that first entry cell for bribe and we've got 10, enter, 20, enter, 30. 40 and $50. And then we have the grades that go along with each of those. So arrowing up to that first entry cell for grade, we've got a grade of 55, another grade of 67, and then 73, 87, and 91. Enter. Now you can compute your linear regression information here. I'm actually going to do it on a separate page on a calculator page. So we want to do control add page and then I want to add a calculator page. The linear regression is located in the stats menu. So I hit menu down to statistics, which is number six. And we want stat calculations, which is one. It's a little bit buried. And then either number three or four, they are both the linear regressions just in a different order. I'm going to go ahead and choose number three here. It wants my X list. That's my explanatory variable. I'm going to hit the right arrow and there is bribe. That was my explanatory variable and then enter. Let's go ahead and tab down to the Y list. That's my response variable or grade. So hitting the right arrow, I'm going to choose grade and then enter and then we'll tab all the way down to OK and hit enter. M here is 0.92 so we would say Y is equal to 0.92 X plus 47 which is our B. This also gives us our R squared value. Those range anywhere from zero to one, one being a really strong correlation and zero being no correlation. And the R value is great for linear correlations because it tells me this is a positive correlation, meaning that that graph increases. Next, let's do that scatter plot. So to do the scatter plot, I want to add another page. So control add page. This time we want to add data and statistics. So we'll add number five and it just kind of guesses and doesn't do a great job. Instead, I want the bribe, the explanatory variable on that horizontal axis. Now you can get there using your navigation keypad. I'm on my computer, so I'm just going to use my mouse to navigate over and then click to add that variable. And I do want bribe, so I'm going to hit enter. And then I do something really similar for the vertical variable, and that's going to be my grade. Okay, so there's my scatter plot. Perfect. I want to add the linear regression. I'm going to click on menu and then I want number four for analyze for analyzing this graph. And we want that regression, which is number six. It's going to give me those two linear regression options. I choose number one. So number one. Now it gives me the linear regression equation, which is really helpful, but I also want that R value. To get that to also show up on your graph, you want to go back to your menu and this time choose settings. So I'm going to hit number six. Look at that diagnostics checkbox. I am going to check the box and above that are my display digits. I can increase the number of digits that this displays by opening this drop down, and then I've got all of those choices, but auto worked just great for me. Let's go ahead and escape that and then hit OK. And we've got that R squared value there. Give me a like if that was helpful. I've got another video for you here.